a firm believer in second chances. However, some things don't deserve forgiveness. Maliciousness does not deserve forgiveness. Cold-blooded, cold-heartedness, taking the daughter, taking the life of a 16-year-old deserves zero forgiveness. I have set a radius of 10 miles around Prosser Creek Reservoir. We're going to work hard to clear Stampede, Independence, Boca, and Prosser Creek all within that 10 mile range. Yeah, tomorrow marks two weeks since the Truckee teenager disappeared after attending a party at a campground. We are learning tonight that a new group of volunteers are coming from out of state to help find her. Everybody just wants the same outcome. It doesn't matter who finds her. 40 to 50 feet offshore, you could easily conceal a vehicle right in here. Doug Bishop and his team is ready to join the search for missing Truckee teenager Kylie Rodney. We all have one goal. We all just want to find Kylie. The reason that this is suspicious is because you could dump a car down that hill back here in this corner in this little cove and no one will see it. The team coming in just days after authorities announcing they are scaling back the search for Kylie. We've had over like 9,000 man hours into searching, which is pretty astronomical. Our, our biggest problem is, is where do we go and how do we keep sustaining this? They just want help. They don't care how it gets done. They just want it done. I, I, I hope it's an accident because accidents happen as tragic as it would be regardless if she's no longer with us. An accident is better than somebody maliciously doing something horrible to her. I mean, you could just imagine the, the, the way that that would happen in your last moments knowing that someone is taking your life versus I'm in an accident and it's, it's quick and it's just different. It's a lot different and I, and I hope that if that's how this has ended, it's an accident versus at the hand of somebody else. What would you want to say to Kylie tonight? I love her so, so much. So many people love you. And we're all looking and we're all we're trying so, so hard. And I'm so sorry we haven't found you yet, but we're not giving up and and um, and just hang in there, sweetie, because we'll find you soon. After a campground party, police are treating this as a possible abduction. Investigators believe someone knows something. They're asking anyone with information to come forward. When you miss a loved one or a friend or a community member and you don't know, that's a nightmare. But I don't want to find her. I, I want to be able to clear all this water and be able to tell the family she's not here. She's not here. We're here, the ground is a lot harder. So the, the uh, tire tracks are a lot harder to see. However, we can see tire tracks clear as day. You got a tire track right here. Look at this, see that? Those are tire tracks. We also have, you know, equipment there, trucks during the day, probably workers. But whether or not we can see tire tracks, it doesn't matter. So I can see out at, at, at least more than 100 feet. You can clearly see the growth. And the growth, the pattern in the growth, the vegetation, nothing's been changed. If a car would go in, there'd be a path, and a car's not gonna go that far out right here. There's no path, there's nothing cut. You could launch a car off here though. It's just, it, you're not gonna hide it right there. Saturday, August 20th, we're at Donner Lake, Truckee, California. I'm 100% confident that the vehicle is not in this lake. We have now cleared five miles of shoreline on all three boat ramps here on Donner Lake. Somebody out there has answers. If you or somebody you know thinks you might know something that happened that day or that night, you need to come forward. You need to step up, call the authorities, talk to somebody and get the information out there. There is a 16 year old daughter missing. A mother is missing her 16 year old daughter. We need to find her and bring answers to this family. Day two in our search for Kylie Rodney, we're beginning right here at Ground Zero, Prosser Family Recreation Site, where Kylie, 16 year old Kylie, disappeared from, according to law enforcement, this was her last known location, and determined that we should start in a different area. Those areas were in, within our 10 mile radius. We were able to rule them out, and that's what brings us back to square one here at Prosser Family Campground. Of course, uh, a lot of questions, as you did mention there, and a big one is 
This dive team was able to find her. They went out there this weekend, found her pretty quickly, while investigators searched that area and hadn't found her. Have they responded to say, I guess, why that is? Time is 1041. We are now on Prosser Creek Reservoir. This is, according to law enforcement, Kylie's last known location. Helicopters have stated that they could see the bottom of this reservoir. We've had multiple different extreme levels of sonar utilized by different sonar teams in this reservoir. I'm confident in what they've done. However, and not to sound cocky, but if we haven't searched it, it hasn't been searched. That's our motto so that we stay efficient and protect the integrity of everything we do as we're walk working for families and law enforcement. So, uh, could the car be in here? According to law enforcement, like I said, we are at her last known location. They said her cell phone stopped pinging right here at 12.33 a.m. on August 6th. Uh, my ability to put Nick out in front of me so I can see what he's seeing, see what he misses, see if he catches anything and so forth. Great training opportunity. And speaking with uh, the Placer County Sheriff's Department, uh, they did advise me that it got down to about 55 feet deep. And right now we are at 45 feet. This just got sent to me. I cannot name who did, but it says, um, the Truckee Facebook missing persons groups are on fire with speculation about what happened to Kylie. Thing is that some of it may not be speculation. It may be real clues as to what happened. The party, 200 plus, fact is there was a lot of drinking and drugging reported fights, some disturbing behavior between Kylie and a girl named girl named minutes before the party, the party suddenly breaking up and then cars started flying out of the parking lot. Something bad happened and all the kids' parents told them not to get involved. You may want to keep in mind that there's a possibility of what happened to Kylie could be more sinister and there was a panic. I knew, you know, I, I feel the same way. A kid goes missing after attending a party of 200 to 300 people. There's always, most likely, something that happened at that party. Someone knows something. Someone possibly did something. It's an accurate and fair assessment to make. Not only one person knows, but multiple people know. This boat ramp over here is in our target area as well this entire reservoir, but we have another boat ramp right here. And you can see the cars, how they pull down right to the water all the way over here. So if something bad happens, then you could put a car in here anywhere. We are on the side where the party was here at the campground. So if we're gonna find the vehicle, I would fully expect to find it right where we are right now. Hey, does this lake get pretty dry at the end of the summer? This is probably be the driest it's been in a long time. Really? Okay. Oh, there's some weird... How If they scanned it, how would they miss that? So I'm assuming it's nothing because they did have dive teams, but I don't want to be the guy that just says, oh, it's nothing because it doesn't look like a car. So we're going to head over here to the other side of the reservoir where there are lots of drive lanes down to the water's edge where people have cookouts, get togethers, parties, um, you know, family gatherings. You know, this is a prime location where Kylie's vehicle could have made it into the reservoir. Is that what you just saw? Yeah. So it's just a big shadow there. You see that? Yeah, it doesn't make sense though. It's only 10 feet of water. We definitely have something man-made. Big. It's probably nothing, but it was a big shadow. It, it, it's something. Isn't that weird? I mean, it's just big. It's definitely something directly under us right now. What is that, Carson? Is that a boat? Or is that an SUV? Whatever it is, it has a build up on it. Could be a car. More in the shape of a boat. And I'm seeing similarities that show build up which we shouldn't have build up on this car. It's only been two weeks. It looked like an upside down sunken boat. Possibly, could be a boat. It's something though. I believe it's a car. And I have to be quiet because 
I don't want to alarm the entire campground right now. This is an ongoing investigation. Man, we're getting some funny imaging on this, which is ind indicative of uh, a newer vehicle. There it is, see that, what is that? That's a wheel, see the wheel? Is it a wheel? Is it a boat? It's like a wheel, man. Look at that, look at that, that's a wheel. That's a wheel, dude. We have a wheel. It's tall, whatever it is. We got a car. We got a car. So. Trying to pull myself directly over it. Look at that, it's not, it's not giving a good reading, but there's a wheel, you see it? You guys put us in this position. Let's assess our situation. 18 different agencies, over 19,000 man hours have been putting, put into this. Not a zero vehicle was found in this reservoir. That is giving me a really weird reading. It looks just like a car. It looks just like an SUV. And it looks like it's giving me some misreadings the way a newer car would. So amazing scan, great job, man. Great, Thank great you. job scanning that. We need to do this as quietly as possible. No one at camp can know what we're doing. Um, everybody's phones need to be turned off. If you have a phone, you need to turn your phone off right now. The last thing that we wanna do is cause alarm to the family and or the local law enforcement. I wanna be able to do that peacefully. I, I don't wanna cause a Absolutely. turmoil. If anybody knows that we found a car right now, it's gonna it's gonna be unnecessary, um, it's gonna be unnecessary trauma for the family. We need to go back to the ramp and cause as little, we, we found nothing. We're just moving locations, that's all. Okay. All right. Uh, if this is her, you know, this, 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 this means all hope is lost as far as her still being out there right. and her showing up her being found safe, this is, this is devastating. This is as devastating as it gets. You know, it's different when we're finding somebody who's been missing for 20 and 30 years. Right. This, this child, you know, 16 year old, same age as my daughter. She's only been missing for two weeks. Ah. Literally the campground is right up over the hill. Okay. Right over the hill. This car is three tenths of a mile from the campground she was at. Strangers around me, I don't know who to trust, gotta ground me. I can feel adrenaline, my heart's pounding. The enemies all around me surrounding. Yeah, I think I better prepare. No fear in this world, better beware. No time in the world, yeah, to be scared. Leave it all on the line or don't be here. My ending's unclear. I can feel the quest, it's pulling me in. I don't wanna rest, I need to be there. Listen to my chest, I feel it in the wind I know that I'm obsessed, that's how I'm gonna win Yeah, I train for this Yeah, I pray for this I didn't change for this I was made for this I feel a quest, it's for me I don't want no rest, I need to be in I listen to my chest, I feel it in the wind I know that I'm obsessed, that's how I'm gonna win Yeah, I train for this Change for this I was made for this
that's how I'm gonna win Yeah, I train for this Yeah, I pray for this I didn't change for this I was made for this We do it for brother. Good job. Good job. It's positive, you know. All right. She's in the back of the vehicle. Okay. She's not in the driver's seat. It looks suspicious to me. Vehicle's upside down. Some of the one we window is halfway down. One window is all the way down. Whew. Call the authorities. We help families all across the nation, and when we find out, they are, they are notified first. So we're gonna notify them first. My very next call will be to local authorities. Right there, with the red thing? Yes, sir. How in the f could they have missed it? That's f***ing impossible. And in, in our investigation, coming into this, um, we, this is just what we do. We find we find vehicles underwater. We specialize in it. Thank you. I don't know what you guys know, and you know we don't always know the why. We just try to find the where, and. That's why I can't relate with whatever you're speaking is the car on right now. Down? The, the car is upside down, but with, that's common when a car goes into water because the wheels make it buoyant. And the windows are closed, probably. Um, all of the windows except for one. Yes. Are up or down. Down. Which one? The one's all the way down. So Nick, Nick is my diver. Which, which windows he, up or down? The uh, what was it? Driver I, rear. Driver, driver rear. rear was down, and the passenger rear was halfway. Is she seat belted in? No. Is she in the driver's seat? No. She's not. No. She's in, she the, in the back? She's in the back. Yes. I would recommend... Get out this your here. daughter. This, this, your, this your daughter, dude. Do what you want to do. I would recommend this is not a this, part of I that. This. see this. I yeah. guess no, it's no. going to be my last time. Oh. Okay. So. I'm Doug. Okay. Who are you or, with? Who are you with? Detective with Nevada County. So okay. I want to be able to confirm everything that... Yeah, behind me, the buoy under... We see the buoy behind me. Okay. Uh, 14 feet under the buoy is her vehicle. Uh, my diver was able to identify there are remains in the back. The specialty search and rescue team, Adventures with Purpose, say that they have located the body and vehicle of the missing teen. They say they found Rodney inside her car, which is in just 14 feet of water. The team says they've notified family and law enforcement. Placer County Sheriff's Office will now be taking over the investigation. She was last seen around midnight at a high school graduation party with more than 100 people. Kylie had texted her mother that night telling her she would be leaving the party in about 45 minutes and her mom texted her to be safe and told her she loved her. She said her daughter texted, okay mom, I love you too. Kylie's silver Honda SUV had never been found until reportedly today.
hundred percent in the hatch. It, yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. Like wheels, they're they're spinning. They're not dragging. They're spinning. That's a telltale sign that the vehicle's in neutral, which doesn't make any sense. It's, if you're driving somewhere, if you're driving home, especially, why would you all of a sudden put the vehicle in neutral? The only way she could have gotten back there is if you know she went like vertically, floated vertically in that little gap, which was very odd if you take Nick's story into account. It's like it doesn't make sense because all he saw was a perfume bottle the day after, supposedly, allegedly. But it, you know, also places the theory of what if, if this is foul play, if whoever found out that law enforcement searched that lake, if they just put her in there like maybe after. I'm gonna go confidently say like 90% of me wants to lean towards foul play. That's up to the investigators to decide, to the FBI, people who get paid to do that versus me. Yeah, I, I just filmed the episodes and cut them together. This just into our newsroom, the Nevada County Sheriff Coroner has confirmed the body found in the car that was pulled from Prosser Lake over the weekend is that of missing trucky teen Kylie Rodney. She just graduated high school at 16 with high honors. She's so intelligent and beautiful and just such a kind and wonderful person. Went to the party with her best friend Macklin. And then Magdalene left the party early to go be with her boyfriend. And then that's when she met up with uh, Sammy. And then Sammy's just a party friend, so they would come in contact every now and then and then separate, go do their own thing. But pretty much Kylie was there alone at a party of 300 people. She's 119 pounds, like 5'9". Like, it, it's just not safe, especially if there's drinking and drugging involved at this party. I just, we just want her home. We're so scared and we miss her so much and we love her so much. And Kylie, we love you. And if you see this, please just, please just come home. I want nothing more than to hug you. I'm just going, I'll, I'll say this. I would not have put that in our title if we thought it was nothing more than an accident. It would blow your mind if I even told you. If you think about the two people that are moving around the vehicle, there could be more to that story. We were told to leave um, and we were not consulted about how it should be done. No. I would have, with the windows open, so you take a controlled environment like that where you have windows open, you have no current, and you have wonderful visibility, which we hardly never have. It's not just one thing, you know, it's, it's, it's everything, every step of the way, everything. Starting with before we even got there, I mean, just 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 everything about it. Uh, you know, if if it looks like it, talks like it, walks like it, smells like it, tastes like it, I would, there's a lots of things that we would have done differently had we been in command of this operation. But um, I, I I don't know what they did or didn't do while they were you know cataloging it under the water. We believe out of the two to three hundred. Young adults who were at that party, somebody must know something.